Hey everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level and this is Drivers Masterclass. Today I'm just going to show you how to add some simple Python to your drivers. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this light and hold shift and left click on the camera and I'm just going to go to Object, Delete. I'm going to click on this cube and I'm just going to go over here and click this arrow to pull out this panel. You can also hit the N key on the keyboard to expand that. I'm just going to right click on X rotation and I'm going to click add driver. Now it looks like in 2.8 they also added a hotkey for this, which is awesome. It's a command D or probably control D on a Windows machine. So I'm going to click that and it's going to bring up this panel and I'm just going to move my mouse out of the way. I don't want to use that panel today. I want to use the actual driver's editor window. So I'm just going to bring my mouse up here to the corner and make a new window like this. I'm going to change this window here to a driver's window. And this is my driver setup here. Again, there's this little arrow over here. If I click on this, it'll bring this out. I'm just going to expand this window and I'm going to click on X or the rotation. I'm just going to come down to the driver's option here. And we're not actually going to use a variable today. I'm just going to use Python code. So I'm going to close that. And under the expression, I'm just going to get rid of the uh, default values here. So you can actually type in code here to the Blender API. Um, the example I'm going to give you today is we're just going to control the rotation of the cube based on the playback of the timeline. So if I type in BPY, Blender Python, dot context, what's active, dot scene, my active scene, and I'm just going to type in dot frame underscore current. And if I hit enter, you're going to get a couple warnings. You're going to get a slow Python expression, warning driver expression may not work correctly, and tip BPY context is not safe for render farm usage, which is true. Uh, context is not a good way to enter Python code into an expression. But for now, I just want to show you how this is going to work. So now when I scroll ahead in my timeline, it's going to activate the rotation X value up there. Now it's moving really fast right now. So when I move to maybe frame 90, I'm getting 5,000 in my rotation. So again, like the other videos I showed you, you can do full math in here. So if I put this in brackets and come to the end, I can divide this by 1,000. And now I get something like this. Now I might be moving just a little bit too slow. So let's divide it by 100. Let's watch that. So where is something like this useful when you can connect something to the timeline? Uh, let's say you had like a windmill, something like this. So I can grab this fan blade here. I'm just going to zero out the rotation. And my Y rotation turns that blade. So I can right click on Y rotation and I can do add driver. Just click out of this. I can click on Y Euler rotation down here. And again, I'll delete the variable as I don't need it. And I'll type bpy.context.scene.frame underscore current. And I'm just going to divide it by 100. And now if I play this back, I have the fan blade slowly turning. It's turning a little bit slow, so I'll probably do divide it by 10. And yep, now I'm getting something a bit more interesting there. So the benefit is I can set this up once and I can just have it ready for an animation team, ready to go. No one else has to look at this outside of rigging. What's also great is you can grab these pieces and duplicate them. And now I have something like this. Now say you wanted the one fan blade to be offset from the other one. Well, I could just come to the driver here. And again, using the math, I could put this in brackets. And I could just add 100. Now I have this nice offset between these two blades. I can even do stuff like divide by 9 here instead of 10. If I want one to move faster or slower, divide by 5. There's so much you can do when you can enter in these values in here. So that's just a way that you can enter in Python code into your drivers. Uh, if you want to get started in coding in Blender, I've also have a link in the description to that. Um, it's sort of not what I'm going to be covering here. I'm not really going to be covering the coding API in Blender, which is if you come to your Python console here and type in that same thing, bpy.context, 
dot scene dot frame current. It'll just return the current frame for you. I'm not going to get too much into Python coding in this series, but I will be using it from time to time in the drivers, mostly with the frame current, actually. Anyway, next I'm just going to show you a way to correct this rotation issue that I'm having, where the rotation values are astronomical, and I'm going to show you how to convert from radians to degrees. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>